What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be talking about what lenses I use right now for my A7 Mark II. So I use only two Canon lenses at the moment. I tried out the 24-70 Sigma 2.8. I had the 70-200 Canon 2.8. When I first bought the camera, I also purchased the Sony 35 1.4 Zeiss. That was one of the best purchases that I made. Um, it was super sharp, really good for just learning about the camera and shooting and experimenting with what I like. It was 35 millimeters, so it was super versatile. It was a very well-rounded lens. I got that lens for over two years, but I actually sold it recently because I found that although it was a well-rounded lens, it wasn't giving me the results that I actually wanted. So I sold it and I've been eyeing the 51.2 Canon for a while, ever since I started portraits. And I picked that one up for around one grand used. So that's the first lens that I'm going to be talking about. It's a beautiful portrait lens. I got it because I love bokeh and I love the results that you get. You can get super creamy and super artistic shots with it. And that's the only portrait lens that I use right now. And I'll show you some of the pictures that I've shot with it and I think that you'll understand what I mean by it. The 35 1.4 had that background blur as well and it was super sharp, a lot sharper than the Canon, but I felt like the 35 just doesn't do it for me when it comes to portraits. Also, I'm on a budget here, so I would love to own all these lenses at once, but it's just not possible. Another thing that I love about the 51.2 is that it has incredible low light capabilities. Especially when you pair it with the A7 II body, you can get really beautiful shots even when you have really low light and no flash as well. I was actually thinking of getting the 85 1.2 Canon, but I only had one choice to make and the 50 is definitely more versatile. So because of the wide aperture, it is super heavy and super wide. It is really heavy after you start shooting with it, you can get a little bit tired. So be aware of that. I actually did drop this lens before and I did break it. It was not focusing at all. There wasn't even any manual focus. So I did have to send it in for repairs and that cost me around $400 here in a local shop in Toronto. The lens does have a water resistant feature on it, so you can shoot it in the rain. However, if you do shoot with an adapted lens, such as mine, I use it to shoot with the Sony a7 II, it won't work as a water resistant camera because the adapter is not water resistant. Be aware that although the lens is water resistant, your adapter won't be. So the second lens that I bought for this camera is a 16 to 35 2.8 Canon as well. It is L series lens, just like the 50. And I bought it because I love to shoot street photography. I love to do landscape as well. So this is a great run and gun lens, especially for traveling and landscape, and also even events, especially when I need to get wider shots. It is f2.8, so you do get that nice low light performance. And also, especially at 35 millimeter, you do have that nice compression and bokeh in your shots. Again, this is a very heavy lens and super bulky, especially with the adapter on the a7 II. That is something you have to consider. This lens is also water resistant, so it does have the rubber ring around it to protect it from any water getting into the lens. However, like I said before, it won't work if you have an adapter. Both lenses are pretty good when it comes to autofocus. There is no continuous focus or focus tracking, but I use the center focus mainly in my shooting, so that doesn't really bother me. The 51.2 does have some drawbacks. It isn't as sharp as some of the other lenses, it is very soft in the corners and I would say not as sharp as the 35 in the middle as well. So just be sure that your shots are sharp before you start packing up your bags. The 51.2 isn't for sharpness, it's more of an artistry lens, it is more for the look of it. For someone like you to get this lens, it wouldn't matter for you to sacrifice some sharpness for the look of the lens. The 51.2 does get sharper when you increase the aperture to say 2.8 or f4 but I actually honestly never done that because I bought the lens just to shoot at 1.2. The 16 to 35 is also a very sharp lens although at 60 millimeter it is sort of soft in the corners however in the center it does a great job. The autofocus of both these lenses work pretty well on my camera 
there isn't any continuous focus but I use only the center focus point anyways so that doesn't really matter to me there is also facial tracking so that does really help and you can actually focus on the face so it actually tracks the face and focuses on the face when you need it to so those are the lenses that I use right now they serve me really well and they suit my photography so let me know if you think this is a good setup if you have any questions, please drop them down below. I will make sure to answer them right away. Please follow me on Instagram at J-I-E-C-H-X-N. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm thinking of making more videos and showing you guys hands-on how these lenses perform. So stay tuned.